so key of floating around the studio, that man cat. I wish I was, like, you know, if I was getting all the way around, floating around. Anyway, something you've never known about me, I've always wanted to try out photography, but I've always kind of let that passion, you know, lay to rest because it's, it's an extremely expensive activity to be involved in, especially if you don't know what you're doing. But for all budding young photographers out there, there is hope with cash converters. Take a look at this first. Cash converters. We buy, we sell, we loan cash. How can cash converters help photographers? Katlejo's on a mission to find out. There's a saying that says a picture is worth a thousand words, but if you're a professional photographer, that picture may be worth a thousand rands. Now, of course, to get to that level takes time, patience, and a creative eye. A creative eye that I'm hoping that professional photographer John Meinking will help me develop. I'm in his studio, ready to snap up this opportunity. How are you doing, John? Very well yourself. Nice to meet you, man. Fantastic. Tell me, um, what do you know about photography? Uh, absolutely nothing. Well, that's excellent today. You're going to learn. Okay, cool. But before we get into that, how about you tell me about what kind of photography you do? How do you describe your style? Um, I'd say I take more of a candid approach when it comes to, say, wedding photography or event photography. I like to observe and to not be around the subject too much and influence them. But when it comes to sports photography, I like to draw the viewer in by getting into the action and um, getting close to that. Well, I'm hoping that I'm going to be figuring out what's going on in this table. Lots of equipment. Take me through what's in front of me. I see lenses. Right over here, we have a couple of what we call um, short zooms or medium short range zooms. Um, going into your standard, standard zoom, it's a bit further. We have here, we have a flash or otherwise known as a speed light. Here we have a body with a battery grip, a pocket wizard, and then we have another camera. All right, I've taken pictures of it with a digital camera, so I'm hoping that's going to help me along the way, right? Fantastic. As long as you know what the on and off button is and, and where to press the shutter, then you should be good. Well, let's get into it then. Katlejo had great fun experimenting. If this is a hobby you would like to get into, carefully consider the costs and remember the extras like memory cards, filters and camera bags. Look at this, the emotion, the raw emotion in the photo. I can see why these guys get so addicted. To be honest, camera equipment is very expensive and you didn't start off with a body like this or a camera like this, did you? No, I didn't. Um, I started off with a kit camera, with a kit lens, um, to kind of just get into it. Um, a, a DSLR, a body like this and a lens like this is very different to a normal point and shoot. So just to get into them and experiment without you know, costing literally an arm and a leg, or even a small car, um, that is the way to go. But now the camera I used, your old one, this one, is a very good camera. I took great photos with it. Why do you want to sell it? You, you find as you evolve as a photographer that you need better equipment, you need better lenses, you need better bodies and various other things and they're not cheap at all. So you kind of want to give people, other people who are starting out as photographers, a chance to get into photography, much like I did, and through an inexpensive way. Well, if you are looking to sell, I've got the ideal place for you to go to. Come. Professionals and amateurs know where to go. There are more than 50 cash converter stores in Southern Africa. So you ready to let go? <laughs> Absolutely. I think it's, uh, <laughs> the time has come. Here we go. All right, guys. How are you? Well. Good, good, man. Yeah, let's see if we can strike a deal on these items. No problem. You're in good hands. Here, the policy is to be the world's leading cash and asset converter. What sort of price are you looking at? I'm looking around the region of two and a half thousand rand. Very good price. How about two thousand rand? Fantastic. We've got a deal. We have a deal. Awesome. Thank you. All you need to bring to complete the transaction is your ID document. Instant cash for your unwanted stash. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Can't wait to start snapping away? You'll find a great selection of cameras and other equipment on the cash converter shelves. Roland, how are you? Hi, I'm Roland. Very well, thank you. So, Roland, how expensive is brand new camera gear? At cash converters, you can get a better deal than anywhere else. Um, it, we've got a range from digital SLR cameras up to the normal point and shoot cameras. Most of the time, when people start off, some people want to start off in a professional way to start off with a digital SLR cameras. The normal person of the road will start with a point and shoot cameras. So, if I'm starting out as a photographer, what are the benefits of buying secondhand? Obviously, our prices is good. We've got a, we've always got we've got we run specials, and we, we give you a warranty and. We, we are open for negotiations on any price. As much as I'd love to stay and talk about this, I'm scared we're going to blow the cash we just got. <laughs> I think we need to get out of here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Find your local cash converter store on their website, cashconverters.co.za. Don't let prices stop you. Buy affordably and start expressing your creativity today. Captured memories last a lifetime. Cash converters. We buy, we sell, we loan cash. 
And no, don't worry, you don't have to have me with you there to get the best deals. You can go on your own. I promise you, you'll get the best service. But anyway, as you heard, lots of terms being thrown around this digital SLR 500D AX1 with perspective digital shot. I have no idea what that means. That's why I've got two photographic experts, if I may call them that. I've got Bruce from Cash Converters with me and our resident steady cam operator, Steady Mike. You know him by his colorful shorts. Great to have you on camera Thank for you. once. And Bruce, you've got a wide range of stuff that's available at Cash Converters. Take us through just, you know, what, what is available there? You will find everything. If you go into a normal retailer, you're going to find uh, bodies like this. You're going to find video cameras. You're going to find point and shoots. All the all the range that is normally available ends up in a cash converter. That's yeah. that's what our business is. It's in the recycling business for yeah. for these goods. Now you are a photographer. You've I been doing indeed. this for years and years and years. If you were starting out, knowing what you know now, would you? I mean, go about buying some of this stuff here. We have. We've always been a source for it. When uh, prior to the uh, digital age, we used to sell the K1000s. If you Pentax K1000, if you were starting out in in uh, photography, that was your body that you needed. Yeah. And we still see that. We see people coming in saying, "Look, I'm going to tech. I need a body. I need a, a start out camera, and we're there to provide that." Yeah. I see Mike is already grabbing <laughs> some of the old stuff. Look at that, dude. I didn't even know that you were such a keen photographer. You, you, you know about this stuff. No, I am. Yeah, I know. It's. I mean, it's. It's a hobby, and you know, like, like as Bruce says, it's basically you can use. I think it's it's good to just start up with something simple. Yeah. You know, you don't need to go for the very expensive stuff. Yeah. But tell me about creating, a, they, they speak about perspective, you know, being able to take different shots. People make like the background blurry and the front in focus, you know, with these, I don't know what you guys do. Tell me about, how do you create those good pictures? Okay, so that's just experience, you know, you can kind of go through and, and it's all about playing with your camera, yeah. I think, you know. Um, we've got a couple of pictures that I'm going to, that I've, we'll put up on the screen. Okay, yeah. Um, if you look, let's see, I think, there you go. Up in a second. So, yeah, there um, you go. Yeah, look at that. So basically, what that is, it's, that's point and shoot. You can hold the camera. And that's it's, you, right? That's that's not me. No. <laughs> you, that no, hand looks hairy like yours. Dude, I don't have a hairy hand. No way. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like an object in the distance, and then you can actually hold the camera in front of you and sort of position your hand. So it looks like he's kind of grabbing the, the thing. Yeah, that's cool. Look the at that. Famous Leaning Tower of oh, Pisa. No. Everyone's oh, no. taking photos. Of it. Yeah, look it's, at that. I mean, she's holding it up with her feet. So it kind of looks like it. So it's pretty cool. You know, you can sort of position yourself and the wow. camera in a position. Look at that, grabbing a cloud. You know, like that's quite. That's quite funky. So you say it's all about playing with your camera. It's about playing it. with the that. camera. That's cool. You've got all your mates and stuff like that. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's especially digital. That's cool. Look at it. It's like a wow. speech bubble from a... From a <laughs> oh, that little rig there. Look at that. Look at that, that is eh? so amazing. Yeah. Wow, so you can really, so, I mean, once you play around with it, and obviously you've got to start off yeah. small, as we said, you know, you take a little point and shoot, you learn how to create those little moments, yes. and then you move on to, I mean, look at that huge lens. What is that, Bruce? That is... This is a, this is a rather nice body. It's a... EOS 50D, and that's a, a what have we got here? 500, 500 millimeter. It looks like you could launch that's a, a missile. Fairly serious uh, piece of equipment. So that what's, what's your excellent. take on that, dude? Would that be something you, you would carry on? Because you you do quite a lot of hiking and walking. Dude, that would be amazing. Yeah, I know. I mean, like. Oh. Ideally, you'd find that if you're going into a game park and you're wanting to shoot animals, yeah. animals. in the distance, Definitely. you can get yeah. in. I'll shoot the monkeys behind the scenes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and just quickly, how popular are the old stuff? Because you've got some vintage equipment there. Vintage equipment, we do see it coming into the stores. It's not, it's not a high volume uh, part of our business. It's more in the collectible scale. Most of these cameras nowadays, the old 35 mils are getting very difficult to find the yeah. form for them. So collector's items, look at my going all crazy. I actually remember having some of my birthday pictures taken by one of those cameras there in front of that brown one there. So yeah, a really wide variety that you can get at uh, Cash Converters. Bruce, thank you very much. Mike, it's an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for sharing your expertise, bro, with your hairy hand. Really <laughs> hey, no worries, it. my hairy hands, yes. <laughs> so make your way to Cash Converters if you are a young budding photographer and like to get your way into the trade. We'll see you after the break. Don't get lazy this winter. Summer is only months away. Cash Converters have the ideal solution to keep you in tip-top shape during the cooler months. With over 50 stores nationwide, Cash Converters is the perfect place to find your gym and fitness accessories. Exercising at home has never been so easy. So be cash clever and keep fit this winter with Cash Converters. Stay with Espresso and SABC3. 